Hello and welcome to this case from First Opinion Veterinary Ultrasound. I'm Dr Camilla Edwards. So this was an 11 year old male neutered domestic short haired cat with a history of collapse two weeks ago, had improved on fluids and still not eating right and had soft faeces. Ultrasound of the abdomen had revealed a large mass in the mid abdomen and wanted further clarification of what that was. OK, so let's have a look at some images from this case. So first of all, we found um, the liver here. Um, so we've got the diaphragm down here, we've got the liver, and then we've got the gallbladder with its irregular wall here. Um, there's also some evidence of possible uh, tortuous bile ducts down here. We'd need to put Doppler on to be sure that they are bile ducts. Fanning through the liver, um, we can really see that irregular gallbladder wall there. Moving into further into the abdomen, we found this mass um, and found that it was associated with um, loops of jejunum. So fanning through that area, and we can see this abnormal jejunum here. So this abnormal jejunum with reaction around it um, leading into this mass. following the jet genome round and we come to this large mass here. So this mass is uh, heterogeneous, um, it has a large hypoechoic area but also um, some possibly some reactive fat around it. Um, um, we're assessing uh, its vascularity, thinking about taking a sample um, and we don't want to stick a, um, a needle into a large blood vessel. It's essential to try and follow where the, the mass goes and to view it in um, a few planes, so at least two planes, um, and trying to follow what organ it's associated with. So continuing to investigate, following in a, a couple of planes um, to see from a few different viewpoints um, how this mass is associated with the jejunum. Turning the cat over we now can see the gallbladder from the right hand side and we can assess these um, ducts. We're applying colour Doppler to see whether there's any flow in these and which there isn't so that does appear to be uh, tortuous bile ducts there. That can be normal in cats um, but combined with this irregular gallbladder wall uh, makes us a little bit more suspicious of cholecystitis. So just seeing that gallbladder with these grape-like structures below it showing this tortuous bile duct. <laughs> Now assessing the mass for um, fine needle aspirate, I like to measure from this point down to the lesion so that I can know what needle length I need. And here we're taking a fine needle aspirate. We can see the needle entering here, the mass here, and following that down, can see the needle tip and just a little woodpecker movement to get some cells. before withdrawing the needle. I repeat this, here we can really see that mass um, moving all by itself, so we can see that this uh, hyperechoic area is actually part of the mass, um, so that's really useful. Um, so sticking the needle into the mass and then uh, woodpecker movement and withdrawing the needle. The more samples we get, the more likely we'll get a diagnosis. So taking a good sort of four or five samples from a lesion is, is very worthwhile. So in this case, we had a large gallbladder with a thick irregular wall. We saw tortuous bile ducts with no evidence of obstruction, a small amount of free fluid in the region, and we decided there was cholecystitis with no evidence of obstruction. There's also a focal jejunal mass with a loss of wall layering, which was associated with a larger heterogeneous mass. And we followed that up by taking a fine needle aspirate of the jejunal mass, which came back as a mast cell tumour. <laughs> 